just four following breaking news at five. A missing teenager has found both his parents in custody facing charges tonight. One of them is a former member of the Indianapolis Colts. A judge denied bond for Daniel and Kristen Muir after their initial hearing this afternoon. CBS 4's team coverage of this still developing story tonight. We begin with CBS 4's Michael Van Skoyk. He joins us live from the Cass County Courthouse. Michael, what have we learned there today? Well, good evening. Earlier this afternoon, the judge de denied bond for former Indianapolis Colt Daniel Muir and his wife, Kristen Muir, at their initial hearing here at the Cass County Courthouse. Now, Judge Stephen Kitts says the two are considered a flight risk. Now, inside the courtroom this afternoon during that hearing, Daniel Muir could be visibly seen upset, also audibly sharing frustrations with his attorneys after the judge's decision. Now, the two are both facing charges. Daniel is charged with domestic battery and obstruction of justice. Kristen is also charged with obstruction of justice. Defense attorneys say Kristen is a nursing mother and asked the judge for the possibility of any GPS monitoring from the court. Judge Stephen Kitts says his decision to deny bond has been based on the couple's failure to comply with anything over the past two weeks. Daniel Muir's defense attorneys did briefly speak to us on camera, telling us he's shocked by the judge's decision to deny bond. The Muir family, they've been improperly targeted and they're not guilty of any abuse or illegal activity. Uh, they're entitled to their day in court and due process. Now, Muir's defense attorneys wouldn't go any further into the case. They also wouldn't explain why the Muirs hadn't cooperated with police during their investigation. Now, meanwhile, we also did get a copy of the probable cause affidavit earlier this afternoon. Now, that uh, document details police efforts to communicate and get in contact with the Muirs throughout their investigation. It also uh, explains that DCS have been investigating other claims of abuse regarding other children under their care. Now, the mirrors are expected to be back in court later this month. Another hearing is set for July 16th at 9 a.m. That hearing is over the mirror's bond and a no contact order with their son, Bryson. For now in Cass County, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. We'll look forward to that update, Michael. Thank you. And again, as we've reported, 14 year old Bryson Muir was found safe during an extensive law enforcement raid early this morning. CBS 4's Eric Graves was the first reporter on scene there today. He has more from the Cass County Jail. For the time being, Daniel and Kristen Muir will remain here in the Cass County Jail. They were brought here this morning after police raided their property in Logansport. We were the only station there to capture police as they conducted that search. This is video we shot exclusively Wednesday morning showing state police covering one entrance to this remote, large Logansport property. Marked with signs saying, Welcome to Straightway Indiana Goshen, a religious group headquartered in Tennessee. Law enforcement had rifles at the ready as an armored IMPD SWAT vehicle sat inside the fence. Multiple SWAT teams, canines, and a bomb squad began a raid of the homestead-like property with multiple homes this morning at 6 o'clock. Just minutes into the operation, law enforcement found Bryson Muir, a teen missing since June 16th, safe. And ultimately, after three weeks of, you know, reaching out, uh, yeah, he was found located. Uh, so definitely win in our books. We saw this IMPD SWAT vehicle leaving the property through the gate that appeared to be damaged after their entrance. An officer inside the vehicle coming over the loudspeaker to thank the people inside the property for their cooperation. ISP Sergeant Stephen Glass says a lot of planning went into the raid executed before the sun came up, especially since they didn't know how the Muirs and others on the property would react. There was uh, some question whether or not they would be uh, cooperative or not. Uh, however, it, uh, yeah, it went uh, uh, smoothly for the most part. The Muirs property is just off U.S. Highway 24 in Logansport. Bryson's parents, Daniel and Kristen Muir, left in handcuffs. They're pictured here in their mug shots, taken early this morning at the Cass County Jail. Former Colts player Daniel Muir is charged with obstruction of justice and domestic battery. State police say the second charge is from injuries Bryson's grandmother reported to police on June 16th. Kristen Muir is charged with obstruction of justice. As we reported, the Muir parents have had little communication with state police about their son, even backing out of a meeting last Friday just before a silver alert was issued for the teen. The pair appeared in court today. We talked to Cass County Prosecutor Noah Schaefer after the arrest. Level six felonies carry a potential, potential penalty of up to two and a half years in jail uh, and fines as well. As for what's next, the Muir parents were not granted bond on site of a flight risk.
Bryson is now in DCS custody, but there could be more children DCS is looking into. Uh, I do know that DCS has uh, an open case that involves a number of juveniles. Neighbors we talked to around the Muir's property did not want to go on camera this morning. One neighbor telling us she heard the helicopters overhead early on this morning. And when she turned on the news, she was not surprised to see what was happening. Another neighbor telling us through his doorbell that he wanted nothing to do with his neighbors. Reporting in Logansport, I'm Eric Graves.